More than 150 people from the technology and business sectors gave up their bets for one night under the open sky at Media City UK to raise funds for youth homelessness. There are young children, 16 younger, just slightly older, that, are, that have no home, no family support, no network around them, which I find alien because I've, you know, I've got a great family and lots of lots of friends who help me and could never imagine my little girl being on the streets. Would never, ever want that to happen to her or anybody else's child. Coronation Street star Brooke Vincent reflects from a scene where she had to portray a homeless person on the streets of Manchester. We was literally sat on the floor for a scene that's two pages long and it's freezing and it's horrible and it's not pleasant one bit and you just really, really think that you can deal with it for that amount of time, whereas people that have to deal with it constantly. White Night is the largest charity sleepout in the UK and has raised more than six million pounds for action for children since 1998. So my message to everyone here tonight is just um, be grateful because tomorrow we're all going to be back in our beds, in warm homes, with food in the cupboards, and we're going to be safe and secure. So we ought to be grateful for that because many of these kids don't even have that. Armed with only the thermos on their body and a sleeping bag, the technical enthusiasts try to sleep for the night facing the cold and the rain. We caught up with them the following morning to capture their reactions to the ordeal. When your head goes very close to the concrete, I did then start to think, oh my God, this is what it's like to sleep outside. This is, you, you're right next to your head on more or less on the pavement. I'm feeling like I need my toothpaste. Um, I'm, I'm tired, but I, and I'm a little sore, but I'm happy. After experiencing life on the street, the fundraisers were blessed with the reality of home comforts.